Hi, second graders, and welcome back to another music lesson with Mrs. Broski. All right, so we are working on the instruments of the orchestra, and actually, this lesson is the last time I'm really going to be teaching it to you, okay? It doesn't mean we're not going to be talking about it anymore. It just means that for actually going over the instruments in the orchestra and their families, today is really the last time we're going to be doing that, all right? So let's get started. Over the past few weeks, we have been learning about the orchestra. The photo that you just saw appear is a real live orchestra. Um, let's take note of a few different things going on in this photo. The first thing you should notice is the size of it. An orchestra is roughly 100 people. That is a lot of people playing instruments at the same time with rhythm, with precision, to make this beautiful music that fills up these grand concert halls. The second thing you should notice is right in the center. There's a person standing there, right? And he has that special stick called the baton. We haven't talked about him or her in a few weeks. This is the conductor. The conductor is the leader of the orchestra. Remember, just like a conductor who rides a train, right? He's in charge of the train. Same basic idea for the orchestra. The conductor is the one who tells everyone how loud or soft, fast or slow, um, high or low, they need to play while they are playing their musical pieces, okay? Um, let's also take a look now at the four different families you'll notice that they are sitting in their own section. So you don't have all of the instruments just jumbled up, sit wherever you want to, right? There is an actual order to the orchestra. And no matter what orchestra you're going to go see in your lifetime, you're gonna notice that they're pretty much all the same format. You have your strings, which is the largest section, all in the front, kind of curved around the conductor, right? You have from um, smallest to, great, uh, to biggest, you have your violins, your violas, your cellos, your double bass, and your harp. If you're not quite sure where the harp is, you can look kind of towards, um, to, wait, let me see, um, I'm a little backwards on my screen over here, right? You can look over here to your left, um, all the way in that corner, you'll see some ladies are there playing the harps over there, right? Now, in the very back of the orchestra, you'll notice the percussion family. Um, that's the smallest section, which is funny because some of them actually have the biggest instruments like those big kettle drums, right? The timpani all the way in the back. Um, they're the smallest section because they're really the loudest. And there's only so many people that are able to really keep the rhythm in the orchestra, which is why the percussion family is kind of the smallest. In the middle, of course, you have your brass family and your woodwind family as well. In our next photo, you're going to see basically something very similar that we just saw, only it's more of a cartoon this time. And just like in our program, The Young Person's Guide to the Orchestra, you'll notice that there are color-coded seating sections. This makes it a little bit easier for our eyes to see, so we can visually kind of see where the families are. Once again, right in the center, you have your conductor. He's kind of in like that half moon area in the red. Then of course in the yellow you have your violins, you have your violas, you have your cellos, your double bass, and once again to the left you have the harp, right? Now you may say, wait, whoa, that other picture over there, wait a second, that other picture had two harps, right? It doesn't matter. Two harps, three harps, one harp, it's that's just usually where they will be. Each orchestra is going to be a little bit different in that respect. They might not all have exactly 15 violins or 20 violas. It doesn't work like that. Whatever really the orchestra um, is able to accommodate, is able to have there. All right, so then I'm um, moving on. Oh, by the way, string instruments, of course, need strings to play, right? Either played by plucking it 
or bowing it, right? Arco and pizzicato from our young person's guide to the orchestra. In the middle, kind of in that orangey section, you have your woodwind family, like the piccolo and the flutes, the clarinets, the oboes, and the bassoons. Remember the woodwinds are the long, straight instruments. They have keys going up and down its side that you press to make different sounds, and most of them use at least one piece of wood in order to play, except for the piccolo and flutes, which is there basically just on shape alone. Um, the bassoons and the oboes, remember, have a double reed. The reed is that small piece of wood that they need to play the instruments. Um, let's take a look. In the green section, we have the brass family. The brass family is made up of the French horns, the trumpets, the trombones, and the tuba. This is the very majestic sounding, like kings and queens are marching in their castle, right? Um, Remember that the brass family, of course, is made out of brass, which means my mouth is actually going to touch metal when I blow into this particular instrument. Um, they all have kind of a circular or oval shape to it as well and different parts like the bell, which is the end of the instrument, right? And the valves, the valves are very important. They're a little bit different than the keys on the woodwind instruments. And just like the woodwind instruments, you do need to blow into them in order to make a sound. In my blue section on the top, you have your percussion instrument. These are the instruments that you bang, hit, scrape, shake in order to make a sound. Um, by themselves, most of them do not play a song. They are there solely to keep the rhythm. Now, all percussion families um, have different varieties of um, percussion instruments. Think about last week's lesson when I showed you my goodness, like 20 different percussion instruments, right? Not every single instrument is going to be used every single time. They're going to mix and match. Some songs are going to need different sound effects. Some songs are going to need something else. So they're going to use a different variety depending on the orchestra and the song that they are playing. This particular um, orchestra from left to right is, has a xylophone, a gong. There's two different kinds of snare drums up there and the big giant kettle drums or timpanis. Remember, timpani is something I do not have in my classroom. It's so big, I don't even know how I would get it up to the fifth floor. The final instrument I want to talk to you a little bit about today is the piano. I have not had a chance to take you guys into the auditorium yet, so this is your job. Next time you guys see me in PS81, I want you to say, hey, Mrs. Broski, let's go into the auditorium and take a look at the piano, okay? Because I'm going to take you there and I'm gonna open it up for you. I want you to take a look at the inside of the piano when we get there, okay? Because a piano is very special. A piano is not just part of one instrument family, it's part of two instrument families. I'm gonna give you guys a couple of seconds to think about it. Which two families is it a part of? Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 ba -da 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 -da. Give up, or you took a good guess. Either way, we can automatically eliminate anything you blow. You've never seen Mrs. Brosky blow into the piano or the keyboard to play it, right? So it's not gonna be brass. It's not going to be woodwind, right? It is going to be percussion. Think about it. When Mrs. Brosky is playing the keyboard in her classroom, right? I'm pressing down on the keys in order to get them to go. The same way I might strike a drum or maybe um, another kind of percussion instrument. The other instrument, which is kind of interesting, and you might not know this without looking inside a piano, is it's actually part of the string family. That's right. A piano, when I open it up, you're going to be like, whoa, look at all the strings. Each string right underneath it is a very small hammer. That's right, you heard me correctly. There's a hammer. And when I play the keys on the piano, that hammer, boom, it comes up and it bangs into the string. And the string v -v -v vibrates, right? And that is what's giving it its sound. 
Now, in my classroom, I don't have a piano. I have a keyboard. The keyboard's a little bit different because there are no strings. It's all electronic. I plug it into the wall and bang, good to go, right? But the piano is a little bit different, so I look forward to sharing that with you. Boys and girls, for the next few minutes, I'm going to put on a video. I found this video a few years ago, and I absolutely love it for three basic reasons. Number one, it's got to do with the instruments of the orchestra, which is what we're learning about right now, right? Um, the second thing is, yay, it has puppets, and I love puppets. And the third reason is, is because it's actually based on the Young Person's Guide to the Orchestra, which is the program we have been using. So boys and girls, I want you to please enjoy the next video. I'm actually gonna step out so you don't see my face here in this little corner. I haven't quite figured out how to get me out of there yet, okay? So here we go. Enjoy. Today is the best day ever. Last week at school, I learned all about a musical piece by Benjamin Britten called The Young Person's Guide to the Orchestra. It teaches kids like me all about the different musical instruments oh that are in the orchestra. So today, I'm at the Meyerson Symphony Center with my dad to hear the Dallas Symphony play The Young Person's Guide to the Orchestra. I've never seen a symphony or even a musical instrument before in real life. So like I said, today is the best day ever! you get to where you need to be. Well, I'm here to hear Mr. Benjamin Britten's music. I know. You tell me where he is, then I'll know where I'm supposed to be. You are in a very special part of the symphony hall for all of us musicians and for Benjamin Britten's music. Really? Yes. Where am I? You're backstage at the Meyerson. Oh, my horse and stars. You mean where the family of instruments are? That's the place. Oh, my hearts and stars. What's that? This is an oboe. It, it tunes the orchestra for one thing. Really? Yeah. So, if I were to get up there right now, then I was the conductor. We're ready to start. What would you do? I would do this. Really? even that note was beautiful. Well, thank you. What is it? That's an A. Not a B? Not a B. Not a F? No, no. Just an A? Just an A. Wow. Yep. And that tunes the entire group of musicians. This is a woodwind instrument. Do you know what that means? Wood? Wood. Yes, this is made out of wood. And it's in the same family as the flute and piccolo, the clarinet, and the bassoon. Wow. What does this sound like? Besides what you just played. That's Britain. Oh, my hearts and stars! That was so pretty, Erin. 
pretty neat, huh? Yeah! member of the string family. I write the foundation. I'm the lowest notes that the string family has. Wow! Oh, wait, I have a question. Yes? In the Britain, the strings, they play really fast sometimes. No! How do you play so fast with something so big and heavy? Well, it's basically the same as all the other string instruments. Uh, we do have the disadvantage of the string being so long. So, Everything that the violins play, they play in a very short distance, and we have the same thing in a very long distance. But it's the same thing. So. Wow. Will you play something for me? Sure. Dwight! Dwight, Dwight, stop! Yes? I have a question. What is it? Well, um, I was wondering and everything. Since, yes? since the bass, um, I like it so very much. Um, Gone. Would you mind if I played it with you? Uh, sure. Okay, oh, yay! <laughs> okay, let's go. Ready? I'm ready. Okay, let's go. yay! It's one of the members of the Brass family. Really? What else is in the Brass family? Well, let's see. We have the trumpets, the horn, the trombone, and the great big tuba. Wow! Are all of those in the young person family? Yes, they are. Really? Yes. Yay! What's that? This here? Yeah. This is the slide. It's called the slide. It's how I change notes on my instrument. Wow! Can you show me? Sure. Wow! How does it sound when you play the Britain? Oh, the Britain sounds like this. piece here, it's a valve, it's called a spit valve. It's actually not spit that comes out, it's water. When I press it, it lets all the water out of my instrument. Wow! Uh -huh. Why did you find that? Because when I play, condensation forms and collects at the bottom of my instrument. Oh wow, but why doesn't that happen with other instruments like the bass? Well, because they don't blow into their instruments, they play a different way. Sure. Okay, yay! <laughs>
Ya. Hello. Hi. I'm Blinky. I'm Doug. I don't think I'm in the brass family anymore. No, you're not. This is the percussion family. The percussion? Yes, percussion. Percussion instruments are ones that we play by striking them. Yes, yeah, striking. I didn't mean to scare you. Doesn't that hurt them? No, they're they're used to it. No. <laughs> Can you show me? Sure. Boom! Boom! That's funny. I love it. So what are those? These are special kind of drums called timpani. Oh, yes, indeed, they are. In fact, the part that I was playing when you came up to see me is from the Young Person's Guide. Oh, my hearts and stars, really? Really? That's so cool! Now, we have other percussion instruments, too. Do you have them? Oh, yeah, there are thousands of percussion instruments, and they all are played by striking. I have one over here called the xylophone. Would you like to see it? I'd love to hear it! Well, come around here and I'll show okay. you. So this is the xylophone. Can you guess what it's made out of? Wood! Wood, that's correct. Yay! It's made out of wood. And the keys are arranged just like a piano keyboard. They are. They are. So you can play melodies like, like this one. What is it? It's... Twinkle, twinkle, little star! That's right! Yay! That's, right. That's, That's right. so cool! I have a question, Doug. What's your question? When I hit it before, like that, it doesn't really make much of a noise. That's... How'd you do that? Well, that's because you have to have one of these mallets to make it sound. Wow! Would you like to try I it? I would love to! Oh my goodness! Yay! Ready? Try it. Oh, just just make a sound. Just hit it and make a sound. Are you sure? Sure. Oh my goodness! That was a low one! <laughs> oh, Doug, can we play the Britain? Oh, sure. Okay, yay! There we go. Was that good? That was great. <laughs> You know, Blinky, the concert's about to start. You better get to your seat. But that's the problem, Doug. I don't know where my seat is. That's how I ended up back here. Well, you know, Melody the Usher can take you to your seat. And she's right over there. She is? Oh, yeah. there she is. Okay, thank you so much, Doug. You're very welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, oh man. Music. Oh, <laughs> hey, I remember seeing you in the lobby with your dad. He must be looking all over for you. If you just asked me for help in the first place, you wouldn't have had to wander all the way backstage. Well, now you're an official member of the DSA Kids Club, so here's a bracelet just for you. Oh, my hearts and stars! Yay! Yay! Come on, Melody, we have to go! I can't wait to hear the young person's guide! Yay!
All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Um, very, very simple homework for this week, okay? Just color the first four pages of your music instrument workbook. Um, the first, unfortunately, I did not bring a copy um, with me um, home. So I'm kind of doing this by memory, but you do have your four instrument families. Just color them, okay? And while you're coloring them, look at their names, Think about what makes them special and what makes them a part of that family. By the way, while you're working on your music book, um, which is my instrument workbook, which should be found in all of your music folders, at any time you can complete the crossword and the puzzles. Those are just extra credit. They're kind of just if you, you know, want something to do, want something to go over. Um, those are a lot of fun. Boys and girls, thank you so much for joining me today. I um, had a great time and hopefully I will speak to all of you soon. Bye.